Almesan. Thank you. Almesan, Center for Human Rights. Madam Vice President, in her opening statement, High Commissioner Bachelet rightfully referred to the situation in Gaza as an escalating tragedy where the population continues to face deeper suffering and humanitarian burdens. El Mizan recalls that this crisis is intentional, it is human made, and it is strategically maintained by the Israeli government. Quote, this is purely a human made disaster and could be quickly reversed if the political will existed, said the Special Rapporteur on the OPT. Instead, last month, Israel launched a series of additional punitive measures on Gaza. A devastating spike in the violation of the population's basic human rights followed, including the rights to water and sanitation, to an adequate standard of living, to health, and to the prohibition on the use of cruel, inhuman, and degrading treatment or punishment. The measures coincided with the spread of COVID-19 and served to further undermine Gaza's ability to implement even basic health measures such as hand hygiene. Israel's 14-year closure, quote, contravenes international law, as the High Commissioner reiterated, and amounts to the unlawful collective punishment of two million people. El Mizan calls on this council and its member states to address the root causes of the escalating crisis in Gaza by calling on Israel to immediately and fully end its illegal closure and all forms of collective punishment and to pursue accountability for Israel's apparent serious violations of international law. I thank you, Madam Vice President.